I'm Damien Hurst and I'm a Gemini and I'm in Qatar for my exhibition Relics. Well, I've been coming quite a few times now. I've been like, uh, I think maybe seven or eight times I've been. Um, first time was to look around for a site to do a special project. 14 huge sculptures to go outside the mother and baby hospital. When I was a kid, I used to have family health guides and they had like the, f I remember seeing the developing fetus pictures in there and uh, and then I always, I always thought, you know, it's kind of crazy to think that before you're born, before you start your life, you have this incredible journey, you know, before you're even born. And so I kind of thought about making something to do with that. But then I thought, because it's so tiny and microscopic, you kind of think it would be nice to make it monumental. And then I never really had the opportunity, really, of anywhere to put it or, how, or to come up. So it was just a drawing. And then I looked through with Sheikh Amayasa. Um, lots of old drawings and things and projects and then she picked that out and went oh this would be great for the mother and baby hospital and as soon as she said that it seemed like a fantastic idea and so we've been working for the last three years to to make it I've got no idea really of what the reaction will be because obviously it's in a culture that you know I've not not been brought up in myself they'll either love it or hate it I mean what I always like is mixed reviews if some people love it and some people ha hate it then you get people talking as a kid, I've gone all over England and you know Europe, and I've looked at sculptures that you know are kind of very embedded, and they've been there for a long time. And you think, oh my God, I'm making something, which is at the beginning of a, a city being formed, really. And you go, you know, it's it's not going, it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay there. So that you know, as an artist, that's a really great feeling. Somebody said to me the other day, it's the first naked sculpture in the Middle East, even though it's a baby. You think, oh my God, yeah, I suppose that is quite a shock. But you know, obviously, we're used to it in the West. But I think, you know, I hope, you know, that people will embrace it. The, the project for the hospital was the first thing. And then um, Sheikh Mayasa asked me if I wanted to do uh, an exhibition at the same time. This is my biggest show ever. Yeah, al -Rawak. Yeah, it's huge. It's bigger than the Tate. And uh, they built this space inside, to, you know, to fit the works, which is great. Normally, you, you just have to make the works fit the space. So it's the first time I've ever had a, a space which has been built around the works. And I think it shows. I, mean, I just want art to you know, look good and influence people. And in a, in a way, as an artist, you kind of make art for people who haven't been born yet. You, know, you, think you, can't, you, tr you hope that your art's going to be relevant after you're dead or you know, points out to people in the future what it's like to be alive today.